In a video I'm about to present to you in this Daily Nerd, did Meghan Markle try to con us with a fake baby Archie? New evidence has come to light that might make you think twice. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness. Yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we? Uh, and thanks to, firstly, my very good friend, Megan Small, which if you're not subscribed to her on YouTube, get it done now. She definitely has the PhD in moon bumpology. Everything I know about it, is from Megan's Mole. She's the authority. Uh, but also thanks to Royally Sage that actually shared this. And yeah, what do you notice when you watch this clip? Uh, and Megan's Mole asks, where is that child's real mother? So I'm going to play this clip right now. Huh. It's really strange, right? And as Royally Sage pointed out, look, the baby is trying to breastfeed and realises it's not where he normally goes. If she was the birth mother who breastfed, she would have known how to hold the baby better. Did the surrogate pose as a nanny? And this is the thing, right, that got me actually questioning. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of research into this because whenever I've seen mothers breastfeed, the baby knows where the target is, right? The baby knows where the nipple is to be able to get the goods, get the milk, get fed, right? So how is this happening where the baby, if they are trying to breastfeed, misses the target completely? Because last I checked, our nipples out up here, right? The, the, the kind of a bit lower down. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I did a little bit of research. And, um, yeah, did Megsy try to con us with a fake baby Archie? Now, this might make you think twice, guys. Now, this is um, from LLI.org. And this was an article back in 2018, What Your Baby Knows About Breastfeeding by Teresa Pittman. And it, she says the following, look, you know, most mothers imagine breastfeeding is something they do. They figure out when it's time to feed again. They bring the baby to the breast. They put the nipple in baby's mouth. They make sure the latch is good and unlatch the baby when the feeding is done. The truth is your baby knows a lot more than most people think about breastfeeding. He's born with the instincts and skills to make breastfeeding work, just like other baby mammals are. Of course, mothers also have built-in skills for breastfeeding and those mesh nicely with the babies. So first and foremost, the based on this article, it says here that babies inherently have the skill to know how to breastfeed straight away. And so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go one step further. What's the science behind all of this, right? And there was actually a study on this that I found. And so here is LiveScience.com and an article that was published back in 2017 by Sarah G. Miller saying, here's why newborns know to move towards the mother's nipple, right? So they first write, newborn babies can't do much, but place them on their mom's chest and they'll instinctively gravitate to the nipple to breastfeed. Exactly what Teresa Pittman said here, right? But let's go further again with the science. How do newborns know to do this? So a new study from Italy, Italy represent, I'm half Italian guys if you didn't know, uh, suggests that one reason newborns are drawn to the nipple is because it's slightly warmer than the surrounding skin. So a higher nipple temperature could make it easier for a newborn to find it and could help explain the phenomenon of newborns just minutes old who somehow clamber up to the nipple, which researchers refer to as a breast crawl, according to the study published on July the 19th in the journal Acta Pediatricia. Hopefully I pronounced that right. 
Uh, if not, my Italian's really rusty. Uh, in the new study, the researchers wanted to test out the idea that nipple temperature indeed helped babies to find the structure. They looked at 41 women who gave birth at a hospital in January and February of 2015. Women were included in the study if they intended to breastfeed, had no problems during their pregnancy, and were pregnant with just the one baby. Uh, so they, they, they were the parameters in regards to this study. Now, at the hospital in Italy where the study took place, the standard practice after a woman gives birth is to immediately place the newborn on her chest and leave the baby there for 15 minutes, according to the study. During this time, a midwife helps mum get her baby to latch on. The mums to be in the study were examined by the researchers about six hours before they gave birth and then re-examined along with the newborns one and two days postpartum. During each exam, the researchers measured the temperature of each woman's nipple along with the temperature of the surrounding skin on her breast. After the babies were born, the researchers also took the temperatures of the baby's lips and forehead. Now, this is what the results showed. So before the mums gave birth, the temperature of their nipples was slightly higher than the temperatures of the surrounding skin. So on average, the nipple temperature was 0.2 degrees Celsius or 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit higher than the temperature of the surrounding skin. In other words, it showed that before the mothers gave birth, the nipple temperature was slightly higher than the surrounding skin. Now, after giving birth, the women's nipple temperature rose even higher than the surrounding skin to 0.5 degrees or 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit and 0.6 degrees, which is 1.1 degrees Fahrenheit, on the first and second day postpartum, respectively. So, in other words, after giving birth, the temperature on the nipple rose even higher, okay? Was even warmer than the surrounding skin at that point. So, in addition to the increase in the mum's nipple temperature, the researchers also found that the baby's lips were cooler than their foreheads. So on the first day, the baby's lips were on average 1.2 degrees or 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit cooler than their foreheads. And on day two, their lips were one degree, which is 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. So this means that on both the first and second day postpartum, there was an average difference of 1.7 degrees or 3 degrees Fahrenheit between the mum's nipple temperature and the baby's lips, the researchers found. So that both the mum's nipple got warmer and the baby's lips got cooler suggests that some mechanism may be at work to increase the temperature difference between the two. This difference, the researchers wrote, appears to provide a thermal cue to guide the baby's lips directly to the nipple. And it's not only the nipple's temperature that's serving as a guidepost, the structure may also smell better to babies. As previous research, for example, has shown that newborns respond to the smells that are naturally released by the breast of a lactating woman, and a warmer temperature presumably makes these smells stronger according to the study. So all in all here, the science is essentially explaining based on this study that because the nipple area is warmer than the surrounding skin, okay, first and foremost, that provides a thermal cue for the baby to instinctively go towards the nipple rather than anywhere else on the breast. But secondly, because then the, uh, the temperature on the nipple is warmer, it then emphasizes the smell of the milk. So on a smell kind of basis, again, the baby is instinctively drawn towards the nipple to feed. So when you see this and you now understand that study and science behind a newborn breastfeeding, this makes zero sense, guys. It really, really does. If this Archie wanted to breastfeed, um, yeah, th th this makes no sense. Why is the baby going towards the top of the breast then? Why not lower down where the nipple is? I.e. the science that I've just explained to you. So, guys, I'm just asking for a friend. Did Megsy try to con us with a fake ba baby Archie in this video? 
What do you think? With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about this video, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.